Hello everybody, welcome back. And it's another day of Vlogmas. It is a 16? Yeah. Yeah, it's 16. Um, I was trying to get the screwball eggnog. Unfortunately, I can't use either one of my Walmart discounts on it, so I couldn't buy it today. So I'm going to have to wait. Hopefully they have it after the holidays, after Christmas, because I just don't have the money right now like I thought I would. I figured I could use the combined discounts, it would be 25%, no big deal. So I apologize. I would, as much, I would like to have it as much as you might like to see it, but unfortunately we won't be able to get it at this time. Maybe next paycheck, probably not. So maybe next year or later in the year if they have it on clearance because Christmas stuff sometimes goes on clearance. We'll wait and see what happens. Maybe I can get it late. So what I did have the money for was something else we haven't tried. We have Crook and Marker Organic Espresso Martini. This is 10% alcohol by volume, no sugar, ancient grains, and real brewed coffee. So let's see what this is. And again, I don't have a martini glass because I don't usually drink martinis. So we'll have to use a margarita glass. Make do with what you've got. Now, I'm not sure why you need ancient grains in a martini. That's kind of interesting. And it's only 90 calories. It's got a nice color. Again, I was looking had look for Rebel Hard Coffee, uh, and I've been unsuccessful. This is Kikrook and Marker is in Milwaukee, New Berlin, Random La Random Lake, Verona, Wisconsin, Yakima, Washington, or Canada. So it's made in the area. It's got a nice smell. Very interesting. Not liking the sweetener. We got okay, organic brewed alcohol, brewed coffee, organic natural flavors, and less, less than one percent of organic caramel color, sodium bicarbonate, organics. Oh, stevia. I knew there was some, a sweetener I didn't like. It's got stevia in it instead of sugar. So it's basically organic and low calorie. So again, once again, it's another one that's got kind of a diet taste to it. I think stevia is an acquired taste. Because it's supposed to also have hints of vanilla. It tastes a little vanilla. But the stevia is kind of throwing me off. Is it a hit or a miss? Uh, it kind of falls in both categories. It's somewhere in between the two. Stevia isn't bad. It's a sugar substitute. It's less diet than say like equal or something like that, but it still has a diet taste. I 
And to me, it makes it taste almost more like a diet root beer than a coffee. It kind of throws the taste off a bit. So, it's, again, it's my first espresso martini. I think the next time I get an espresso martini, it's going to have sugar in it. I'm sorry. It, it overpowers the taste of the coffee. If I want an espresso martini, I want to taste the espresso, not the sweetener. these I will drink them but would I buy it again no it's yeah to round it off my first espresso martini and the worst at the same time because the stevia kills the taste of the coffee I wanted to enjoy the taste of the espresso, but I'm getting more sweetener than I am coffee. Maybe espresso martinis are supposed to be sweet. I don't know. I've never had one before. But this, like I said, as I said, basically the stevia kills it for me. It ruins the, the whole experience. It's like I guess it makes it taste more like a root beer, or maybe even like a diet candy. But it does not taste like a martini. It tastes like a diet soft drink, or a diet 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 candy diet dessert. Keep diet away from margaritas, uh, and martinis, please. I, unless, unless you're on a diet, I need to lose weight, but if I'm ha having a drink, the last thing I'm thinking about is counting my calories. Um, other notes? Nothing new to report, except this uh, this beast is getting huge. Look how big she is. Yeah. She's going to be five months old, December 22nd. I think you... Ouch! You see, if you've seen pictures, you saw how tiny she was when I got her. And how monstrously huge she is now. She's almost the size of a full grown cat. She still wants to be a baby. And do baby things, but. Like teething, she's trying to get rid of her baby teeth and get her adult teeth. Yes. Ow! No, monster. Ugh. No, behave yourself. Behave yourself. And she's attacking my boot. I think I'll leave my hiking boots on for a bit. Yeah, I'm still waiting on word from my tax accountant as to the funds being available toward a loan on a house. I'm um, still waiting on my service records. So basically nothing's budged. Nothing is budged. Everything is stuck. We're stuck in a rut of status quo and red tape. Uh, Christmas wise, I may or may not visit my sister. Again, that's, that's in limbo as well, pretty much. It's last, like last Christmas when I moved here. Um, 
My sister-in-law didn't invite me because she thought my sister would invite me. My sister didn't invite me, I'm guessing, because she thought my sister-in-law was going to invite me. Nobody knew who, who was going to invite me for Christmas, so nobody invited me for Christmas. This year, my sister might, except for the fact that I work Christmas Eve and the day after Christmas, so... It might be another Christmas by myself, only this time, because the budget was extremely tight due to cab fare most of the year, and the pet deposit, and now my rent going up. I'm sorry that this has not been a better Christmas, Bats and Ghouls. I really am. And I'm sorry for a couple of the lame half, you know, half arsed. Uh, videos I put up. I wanted to put something just to let you know I'm still here and that I'm at least putting in an effort to do Vlogmas and Gothmas this year. Last year I did mostly um, Elf on a Shelf, the Drunken Elf on a Shelf. Uh, yeah, I put him, I put, ouch, he's in rehab right now because, yeah, I don't want the cat stealing him. I figured maybe she would move him around the apartment, but I've sprayed the tree with the don't scratch stuff so she's more or less leaving the tree alone and she's not touching the elf on a shelf so he's behaving he's not doing anything this year he's on vacation effectively so no elf on a shelf action um the tree is a disaster it's not decorated the way it was because somebody took the ornaments off of it as cats do and knocked over the tree as cats do and um, so the tree looks like a little yeah the tree looks like I had help from very small people but I had help destroying it from a very small cat well not a very small cat a very large kitten so um, I apologize for the dearth of videos on um, then the shop back of shopping um, but I will I'm trying to do the best I can with what I've got as yes, I had my Edgar Allan Poets shirt on but I spilled coffee on it so it's hanging in my bathroom drying because I had to wash it out by hand um, I got this it's a triple extra large from the junior department I believe so I'm going to try and keep it that way as big as possible because I like my clothes either if I'm doing okay with my weight I don't mind form fitting because if you can see the fact that I'm getting a shape but when I'm shapeless like when I'm having to eat a lot of stuff that my stomach doesn't like and I'm blown up like a balloon I'm more comfy in extra super large clothes so and it is a look. Some people like that kind of look anyway. So I'm going to let you guys go. Again, if you like organic, low-calorie martinis, definitely try Crook & Marker Organic Espresso Martini. Again, I was not thrilled because of the stevia. The stevia killed it for me. I'm not a big fan of stevia. It's okay, but it's too sweet and has a diet kind of flavor to it. And the cat is trying to steal my purse. Because she sees my keys. Okay. Um, sorry. I got out of frame there. So, again, if you like low-calorie um, drinks with stevia, you will like this. If you like normal espresso martinis, you may or may not. It's Like I said, it's, stevia is an acquired taste. I never acquired the taste because I didn't really want to so again give it a try if you want and if not that's okay too so um if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you like what you see please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content in your notification I keep wanting to say inbox it's it's essentially an inbox so Basically, if you want to see notifications about this channel, hit the bell twice. Um, again, okay. It's snowing where I'm at. So, again, don't drag and drive. Let the other monsters drive the hearse. Winterize your hearse. 
stay safe because I want to see you guys next time. I love you all. Bye now.